Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna to be towing a trailer with your Chevy Cruze, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right guys, so this is a pretty uh, moderate install. We're gonna to need to gain access to behind the tail lights. So we're gonna start by removing the trunk floor covering. And next we'll pull up on this center panel right here. And this is just held in by these four red clips. All right, next we're gonna gain access to our passenger side tail light by removing these two pins. And we're gonna do that with our tr trim panel removal tool. And now we'll pull back on the passenger side lining and that will give us access to our tail light harness. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take the T connector with the green and brown wire and we'll plug that into our passenger side tail light harness. All right, our next step is to ground our harness. We're going to use this existing stud and we're going to go ahead and remove this nut using a 10 millimeter socket. All right, now we're gonna to need to gain access to our driver's side tail light. We will do that by removing this pin right here and we'll be using our trim panel removal. And then using a seven millimeter socket, we'll remove the bolt that holds the cargo hanger. And we'll pull back on the driver's side liner. And just like on the other side, that gives us access to the tail light harness. All right, back here on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and take the T-connector with the yellow wire, and we're gonna run it through the center metal panel support towards our driver's side. Now we'll go ahead and disconnect our tail light harness, and then we'll pull our T-connector with the yellow wire and we'll go ahead and make that connection. All right, going back to the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and grab our converter box and we're gonna hook up our power wire. We're gonna use the extension that is included with the kit. And to hook that up, we will be using a heat shrink butt connector. And now that it's crimped, we'll use our butane torch and we'll go ahead and heat shrink it. All right, once your butt connector is cooled down, we're gonna run our extra wire towards the battery. The battery is located towards the front of the trunk, right behind the back seats. And we're gonna run it underneath the paneling and we'll pull it over towards the positive terminal and then we'll cut it to the length that we need. All right, now that we know the length that our battery wire needs to be, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our fuse holder. And we'll be using a heat shrink butt connector to connect those. And with our fuse holder connected to our battery terminal, on the other end of the fuse holder, we'll put our battery terminal ring. And then we'll use our butane torch to go ahead and heat shrink. All right, now we're gonna run our fuse holder underneath these panels towards our positive terminal right here. And then using a 10 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove this bolt. And then we'll attach our fuse holder. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our included 10 amp fuse and insert it into the fuse holder. 
and then we'll put the flap cover back on and clean up the rest of the wiring. All right, with our trailer wiring all connected, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of our wires. So we're gonna take this double-sided tape and we'll go ahead and connect it to the converter box. And then we'll take the other side and then we'll put it behind this metal. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our liner back into place. And we're gonna secure it with the two pins that we took out. And now we're gonna repeat on the driver's side. All right, so if you're gonna leave your four flat harness in your trunk, you can just leave it here with the spare tire. We're gonna run ours towards the hitch, so we're gonna go right through this grommet right here. Now we're going to route our four flat harness, just like we did with the driver's side T connector, right through this panel support. And then we'll go ahead and remove the grommet and push our four flat down. Then we'll go ahead and reach up into the bumper and we'll pull out our four flat harness and we'll route it down by our hitch and we'll get that ready for mounting in a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut a slit in the grommet and then we'll just rest our wires in that slit and put the grommet back into place. Now we're going to put our center panel back into place by lining up the red clips with these four oval holes. And then we'll put our trunk floor covering back into place. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and mount our four flat harness. Now a lot of people will just like to leave it dangling or hook it up onto the tow loop. We're gonna go ahead and use a four flat mounting bracket and this is U-Haul part number 118144 to safely secure our harness. All right, now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna loop it through the dust cover loop. And then we're gonna insert our harness into the mounting bracket. And then we'll put the dust cover on. All right guys, so that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy the outdoors.